Action. Welcome to the Late Night Show, your monthly dose of AI news, tools and breakthroughs. Because let's be honest, you've got 47 browser tabs open and zero time to read through them. September in AI, absolute chaos. OpenAI just launched a TikTok style app where you can star in any video without filming anything, which is either the creator economy's dream or every influencer's existential crisis. Google made Chrome way smarter with AI that actually helps you browse instead of just watching you procrastinate. And Adobe basically said, fine, we use everyone else's models and throw Nano Banana into Photoshop like it's a features buffet. Meanwhile, Anthropic dropped a model so good at coding, it worked for 30 hours straight without supervision, which is either the future of work or a preview of how AI will eventually unionize. Either ways, it's wild. So tonight, we're cutting through the noise. These are the 13 drops from September that actually mattered if you build, code, create, or just pretend to understand AI. Let's get into it. Sora 2. OpenAI dropped Sora 2 with an entire social app built around it. And the pitch is basically, what if TikTok, but you could put yourself in any video. Sora 2 generates 10 second videos with synchronized audio. Finally, no more silent AI videos that look like student films. The kicker, a feature called cameos. You record yourself once and boom, the AI can insert you into any video. Want to be dancing in Times Square? Done. Want to feature in your friend's video? Done. Want to accidentally create a deepfake scandal? also done. But here's where OpenAI got it right. Safety first. You get a notification every time someone uses your likeness. You are listed as a co-owner of any video featuring your face, so you can delete it or block further use. And videos carry C2PA watermarks and metadata, so everyone knows it's AI generated. It's invite only right now, iOS first, sorry Android, and comes with a TikTok style feed where you scroll through AI generated videos, which feels less like innovation and more like OpenAI looked at Meta's <gasps> vibes and said, pull my GPU. For creators, this is huge. UGC at scale, instant B-rolls, and the ability to remix trending videos without filming anything. For everyone else, it's the moment we collectively accept that real is now a setting, not a default. The controversy? Well, copyright holders will have to opt out instead of opt in. Classic. But Varun, what do you think about it? I really think that people care about where the art comes from. Mm -hmm. right? It's been possible for two years to make a Justin Bieber song, but people still want to listen to the official Justin Bieber on Justin Bieber Vivo. So because he's I, Justin Bieber. Because he's Justin Bieber. And I just feel that no one's going to care about just a random AI-generated video, right? Like, people need to care about the backstory behind it. And I think creating that backstory still requires an artist. So these are just tools that make our lives easier. Uh, that being said, I do think personal identity is gone. Sam is allowing everyone to generate videos of him, right? Um, and I think all of us are going to allow that soon because I feel like as a company, you have two choices, right? Either allow your IP to be used by other people and gain the benefits of that or don't allow them to use it and just, you know, fade into obscurity. No one's going to care about you if no one's making memes about you. I think memes run the world now mm -hmm. and uh, this is a very easy and quick way to make memes. Anyway, that's it for me. I don't know if I was really here. Uh, thanks for having me on. Bye. Well, that was Varun Maya. Or was it? Moving on, Cloud Sonnet 4.5. Anthropic dropped Cloud Sonnet 4.5, and this thing is a beast. It can code autonomously for 30 plus hours, which is longer than most engineers stay conscious during a sprint. It topped the Sui Bench verified leaderboard, beating GPT-5 in coding tasks. But here's the real flex. It's not just fast, it's reliable. In early trials, Claude autonomously built apps, set up databases, purchased domain names, and ran SOC 2 audits. Basically, it did the entire startup grind while you slept. For developers, this pretty much changes the game. It's not about if AI can code, it's about how long you're willing to let it run. For founders, it's terrifying. Your competitor might be a solo dev with Claude doing 80% of the work. And yes, it is safer. Less prompt injection, less hallucination, less I accidentally told the AI to delete production. Which is great, because we all remember how that story ends. Luma Ray 3. Luma AI launched Ray 3, calling it the first video model with reasoning. Instead of blindly generating whatever you type, Ray 3 
thinks through the scene like a director planning a shoot. It's the first model to support native 16-bit HDR professional cinema formats, which means it's not just for YouTube thumbnails anymore. This is production grade. Draft mode lets you generate dozens of variations 20 times faster, then only render the best ones in 4K HDR. And for the first two weeks, it's unlimited generations for paid users. For filmmakers, this is pre whiz on steroids. For content creators, it's B-rolls you didn't have to license. For ad agencies, it's pitching concepts without hiring a studio. Ray3 doesn't really replace Pixar, but it makes crappy creators look like they have a $10 million budget. Nano Banana hits Photoshop. Google's viral Gemini 2.5 flash image model, also known as Nano Banana, is now inside Photoshop beta. You know, the AI model that went viral for turning people into 3D figurines and remixing photos like a fever dream, that one. Adobe added it to generative fill alongside Flux One context, giving Photoshop users three AI models to choose from. Firefly, which is safe and commercial, Nano Banana, stylized and a little chaotic, and Flux realistic and contextual. This is Adobe's first time ever opening Photoshop to third-party AI models, which is huge. It's basically admitting our model is good, but sometimes you want the weird ones. For designers, this is creative freedom. For Adobe, it's hedging bets. But for the rest of us, it's watching Photoshop turn into an AI model marketplace. And honestly, I am here for it. Chat GPT Pulse. OpenAI launched Chat GPT Pulse and it's basically, what if your AI did homework while you slept? Every night, Pulse reads your chat history, calendar, and optionally emails to do autonomous research and generates five to 10 personalized briefing cards the next morning. Wake up, swipe through updates, and boom. You're caught up on what matters. Unlike most AI features designed to keep you scrolling, Pulse stops after a few cards and says, that's it for today, which is refreshingly humane, actually. It's rolling out to pro users first and then plus, and you control what it accesses. Gmail and Google Calendar are opt-in and you can turn them off anytime. Plus, you can give feedback on what's useful and what isn't, so Pulse gets better at showing you what you actually care about. For busy professionals, this is a personal assistant that you couldn't afford before. For students, it's a study partner that tracks your learning goals. For anyone juggling, too much, it's the AI that helps you stay on top of things without the overwhelm. Suno V5. Suno V5 dropped in late September and it's their most powerful music model yet. Studio grade audio, natural vocals, and an ELO score of 1293. V4.5 was 1208. The big upgrade? You know how all these AI generated music sounded very robotic with its vocals? None of that anymore. Suno V5 generates warm, expressive singing with breath, grit, and phrasing that feels performed and not paste it. Listen to this. You can actually hear emotion in the voice. It's not just pitch corrected syllables. It also supports multi-stem export. So you can pull vocals, bass, drums, etc. into your DAW and there's a new Sono Studio. Basically a DAW built into the platform for arranging and editing generated music. For content creators, this is royalty free music that doesn't sound like elevator hell. For indie musicians, it's a collaboration tool that never sleeps. For brands, it's custom jingles at scale. Yes, there's going to be legal drama with record labels, but Suno is betting on the future where AI-generated music is just another tool in the creative toolkit. And honestly, with V5, they might be right. Meta Ray-Ban Display. Meta unveiled the Ray-Ban Display glasses for $799, and they might be the first AR glasses that don't feel like a prototype. They come with a display in your peripheral vision and a neural wristband that reads your muscle signals to control the glasses. You pinch your fingers and the interface responds. No touching your glasses, no voice commands in public, just subtle gestures. The display shows notifications, live translations, video calls, and Meta AI responses right in front of your field of view. The magic? It disappears when you don't need it, so it's not constantly in your face. The wristband is the real innovation though. It uses EMG, which stands for electromyography, to detect the electrical signals your muscles create when you move your fingers. But your hand is the screen. For anyone who's ever fumbled with tiny buttons on earbuds, this kind of feels like the right answer. For early adopters, this is practical AR that doesn't scream, I am wearing tech. For professionals, it's hands-free access to info during meetings or site visits. For accessibility, it opens doors for people who struggle with traditional interfaces. Launch is US only for now, and it's in-store only, so you can try before you buy. Smart move. AR needs to fit right to work right.
Hicksville launched Fashion Factory and it's exactly what it sounds like. Upload a product image and a model and it generates full fashion photo shoots in minutes. You get 15 plus shots with different angles, poses and lighting, all consistent, all photorealistic and all powered by Nano Banana and VO3. For e-commerce brands, this eliminates the barrier of expensive photo shoots. A startup can now compete visually with established brands without burning through their seed round. For fashion designers, it's rapid prototyping of how garments look in different contexts before committing it to production. And here's the smart part. It's not actually replacing photographers. It's filling a gap. Professional photographers still dominate editorial, high fashion and brand campaigns. But for the thousands of small businesses that literally can't afford a $5,000 photo shoot, this kind of levels the playing field. Hicksfield also has UGC Factory for influencer style product videos and Soul ID for consistent AI models across shoots. Basically, they are creating an end-to-end -end AI content studio, which I think is awesome. So watch out for them. Sea Dream 4.0. ByteDance, which is the company behind TikTok, dropped Sea Dream 4.0 and it's topping the leaderboards. The ELO score, 1205. That's higher than Nano Banana. It's a unified model for both text to image and image editing with 4K support and generation speeds of 1.8 seconds for 2K images. It also handles multi image inputs up to six and can output nine variations at once. For designers, it's fast iterations without switching tools. For marketers, it's batch content generation. For Google, it's a wake-up call that Nano Banana has competition. Sea Dream 4.0 is available on platforms like Kriya, ImagineArt, and OpenArt. And yes, it is free to try. Google Labs Mixboard. Google Labs launched Mixboard, an AI-powered mood board tool. Think Pinterest, but instead of collecting images, you generate them. Powered by Nano Banana, Mixboard lets you create visual concepts from text prompts, edit boards with natural language, and share them with collaborators. For designers, it's ideation on steroids. For event planners, it's mood boards without the hours of searching. For Pinterest, it's a competitor that doesn't need user uploaded content but I don't really think it's a competitor. For now, Mixboard is US only and it's still in beta, but it's free. Infinite Talk. Infinite Talk is an audio-driven video generation tool that creates unlimited length talking avatars. Upload a photo or video, add audio, and it will generate perfectly lip-synced videos with natural head movements, facial expressions, and body gestures. The secret? sparse framed processing with overlapping chunks. For educators, it's talking avatars for online courses. For marketers, it's personalized video messages at scale. For content creators, it's podcast to video automation, available in 480p and 780p, open source on GitHub, and usable via Comfy UI. Notebook LM flashcards and quizzes. Google updated Notebook LM with flashcards and quizzes, and a learning guide that acts like a personal tutor. Upload lecture notes or PDFs, and Notebook LM generates study aids grounded entirely in your sources. Click on explain and it breaks down why you got a question wrong with citations. For students, it's the perfect study guide. For professionals, it's knowledge retention for company docs. For educators, it's AI-powered study guides that actually work. Google integrated Gemini directly into Chrome and honestly, it's the kind of helpful AI we've been waiting for. Your browser now has an AI assistant that can read your tabs, summarize videos, answer questions about web pages and even help you compare information across multiple sites. Planning a trip, Gemini can pull details from your hotel tab, restaurant tab, and flight tab, all without you switching back and forth. There's also AI mode in the search bar, so you can ask complex questions directly into the search box. Instead of typing best mattress, you can type, I'm a side sleeper with lower back pain, make me a comparison table of mattress types. Then ask follow-up questions like, how long do memory mattresses last? And here's the smart part. Gemini integrates with calendar, YouTube, and maps, so you can schedule meetings, jump to specific video timestamps, or check locations, all without leaving the page. For researchers, it's instant synthesis across sources. For shoppers, it's AI that finds products and organizes options. For anyone drowning in tabs, it's the assistant that actually helps you get things done. It's rolling out to the US users first with global expansion coming. And yes, you control what it accesses. It's opt-in and not forced. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was your September in AI. 13 drops that prove we're not just automating work, we are augmenting creativity. Models that code for 30 hours, AI that turns photos into art inside Photoshop, browsers that finally help instead of distract. These tools are making things possible that actually were not possible before. Whether you're a solo creator, a student, or a developer shipping at superhuman speed. Sure, there are questions about privacy, copyright, and jobs. But the companies shipping these tools are also thinking about safety and and giving user control, and that's progress. The question is not, will AI take away my job? It's, what can I build now that I could not before? My name is Sridev, and this was The Late Night Show, and I'll see you next month. Stay creative, stay critical, and keep building.
गुड नाइट